Today we're going to look at writing equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay, I'd like you to pause your video and pull up Desmos because I'm going to ask you to graph some lines. Okay, when you come, now that you're back, I would like you to graph the equation y equals 3x in Desmos. So pause the video and do that right now. Okay, now hopefully your line looks something like mine. Now, I would like you to, in Desmos, graph the equation y equals 3x plus 4. So pause your video and do that now, please. Now, hopefully yours will look something like mine. And um, obviously yours are going to be better because they're done with Desmos. But what do these two lines have in common? They obviously have different y-intercepts. One passes at 0 and one uh, passes the y-axis at y. I mean, excuse me, at 4. But what they both have is the same slope. And this is something that I need you to write down. All parallel lines have the same slope. And we are going to use that to help us graph parallel lines. So pause the video and write that down. Okay, what if I said write an equation in slope-intercept form of a line that passes through the given point and is parallel to the given equation? So what I want you to do is write an equation that is parallel to this one and passes through this point. So what I'm going to do is kind of start off with a template y equals blank x plus blank. Well I know since this is supposed to be parallel that my new equation has to have the same slope as my the equation they've given me. So this has a slope of negative 4. My equation has to have a slope of negative 4. Alright, now I, I just have to figure out what my b value of my equation is. And I can do that because they've given me an x and a y here. So I know how to find b. Alright, so instead of y, I'm going to use four. I'm going to use my slope of negative four times and instead of x I'm going to use my x value of four and then I'm just going to say plus b because I don't know what that value is I'm going to call it b. So now I'm going to solve this I'm going to get negative sixteen plus b and I'm going to add sixteen and I get that my b value is 20. So I'm going to put that into my equation. And this is the equation of a line that is, that is parallel to y equals negative 4x plus 8 and passes through the point 4, 4. Okay, so remember, all parallel lines have the same slope. You're going to use the same slope as your existing line, then you're going to use your point that's given to find your b-value. Alright, now again I want you to go back to Desmos and I would like you to graph in Desmos y equals 2x and then graph y equals negative 1 half x. Pause the video and do that now please. Okay, well hopefully your uh, Desmos graph looks something like mine. Now, what you need to know is that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So now let me put these two slopes right next to each other. My first one was a slope of 2. If I change that into a fraction by putting it 2 over 1, then if I did the reciprocal of 2 over 1, that is 1 half. Opposite means negative. My first one was positive, my second one is negative. So you 
change your slope by flipping your fraction and changing the sign. Perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. Write that down, you need to memorize it. Now perpendicular means that they form a 90 degree angle where they intersect. Okay, we're going to use this. What if I ask you to write an equation in slope-intercept form of a line that passes through the given point and is, this should say perpendicular, so I'm going to change that right now. and is perpendicular to the given equation. So again, I'm going to go ahead and just start the equation of my perpendicular line. Now, I know from my previous slides that my slope of a perpendicular line must be an opposite reciprocal. Well, my current slope here is negative 4. I'm going to change it into a fraction by putting it over 1. So I'm going to flip that fraction, and I'm going to get 1 fourth. And I'm also going to change the sign. It was negative, and now I'm going to make it positive. So my slope of my new line is going to be positive 1 fourth. It is the opposite reciprocal. All right, now I just have to figure out what my b value is. And I can do that because I have an x and a y here. So instead of, I'm going to use my equation, and I'm going to say instead of y, I'll put in this 4 equals, I'm going to use my new perpendicular slope, which is 1 fourth, times, and I'm going to then take my x value of 4, plus, and again, I'm just going to call it b because I don't know what it is yet. All right, so then I'm going to simplify this and subtract 1 from both sides, and I'm going to get that my b is 3, and I'm going to put that up in my equation. Don't forget to put the b in your equation. So this is the equation of a line that is perpendicular to y equals negative 4x plus 8, and that goes through the point 4, 4. All right, so first I find my slope by finding the opposite reciprocal, and then I use the point to figure out what my b value is. All right, let's try one other thing. What if I give you a line and a point? I want you to write the equation of a line that is perpendicular to the line I've just drawn and that passes through that black point on my graph. Well, the first thing I have to figure out, obviously, is what the slope of my new line is. So I'm going to go ahead and start my equation. y equals some slope x plus some y-intercept. All right. Now, um, let's figure out the slope of my existing line. And I'm looking at it, and it goes up to over 3, up to over 3. So I think the slope of this line is 2 over 3. And it's positive because it's going up. And now I need the coordinates of this point. So the coordinates of this point are 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, and positive 3. So I've got negative 4, positive 3. All right. Now, in order for my new equation to be perpendicular, to this line, the slope must be an opposite reciprocal. Well, currently my slope is positive of this line that I've drawn. So my new slope is going to have to be negative because it's an opposite. Opposite means a different sign. And I'm going to have to take this fraction, oops,
Okay, and now I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides, and I get b is negative 3. So I'm going to put that up in my equation right there. But you guys, I'm not going to leave it like this because I really would like it to be nice and neat. So I'm going to say y equals negative 3 halves x minus 3. That is an equation of a line that would be perpendicular to my given line and pass through the point negative 4, 3.